This morning we started in Paris and then we're finally made it to Florence after 12 hours on of a travel day on train. We are finally ready um, to relax in our Airbnb. Let's go check it out. Hey guys, just wanted to give you a quick tour of our place here in Florence. Um, we have our adorable little balcony. It actually looks right across the street to a museum, um, so super cute. We have our living area here with TV, fireplace we won't be using because it's 100 degrees. Over here, we have our little kitchen area. Not big, but good enough for what we need it for. Um, in here, we have laundry, and then through here, we have our bathroom, the sink, toilet, shower. Um, it's good size, so as you can see, all our stuff is already strewn everywhere. Um, and then again, like I said, just living area. This is a wardrobe where we have all our stuff um, while we're here. And then if we go upstairs, up here, there's just um, another little dresser, a little seating area. And then back through here in this back room is where our bed is. Um, it does have its own air conditioner in this room, which is super nice. So that's it. <laughs> We're starting our first day off um, in Florence. Um, we kind of woke up and just kind of relaxed uh, this morning because we had uh, such a long day the other day. Um, and then we went out for lunch. I had the ravioli at a, a small Italian place and Caitlin had the... Pasta with wild boar sauce. Boar sauce. Delicious. After that, um, we kind of just walked the streets um, of Florence and then... Um, Oh yes, and then we went and got Caitlin's perfume at an old perfume place that's been around since, I don't know, 1200 something, 1200 something and uh, got, got some gelato to finish off our afternoon. It's really, really hot here, so now I'm going to get up and cool off. We finally just got to our Airbnb and got checked in with um, Joseph. He gave us a kind of a rundown of Salerno and kind of what to do here, which was really, really helpful. Um, as you walk in through the door, through the door, this is just a studio apartment. So we have a queen size bed here with beautiful art. And then you can see over here, we have our, just our small closet with huge doors over it. As we kind of work our way over here, you can see just huge windows on uh, the left and right side of the building here. And this is kind of down below is our, our entrance. Nice place to sit. And then a TV, a little bit to watch um, at night when it's a little bit slower in here. As we kind of come over to this side of the room, again, it's a studio apartment. So we have a little bit, just a little bit of a kitchenette, uh, stove, sink, just kind of all of our basics inside um, of this kitchenette here. And we work our way back to our bathroom here. Um, it's going to be hard to see because it's a small space, but we have our, our sink. And back here we have our toilet and then our shower. It's kind of this cool um, feature here in the bathroom. So, um, that's it. restaurant um, tonight.
night in Salerno. It was delicious, kind of this old, uh, old town seafood place. I got tomatoes and, oh gosh, oh, mullet, fish. mullet fish, and then Caitlin got spaghetti with clam. It was delicious. We're doing something that we have never done today. Uh, we rented a scooter for the day to kind of drive the coast um, down here in the Amalfi coastline. So um, we're hope crossing our fingers that everything is gonna go smoothly and let's go. All right, we finally just came into Rome. We walked about 30 minutes uh, to get here, but we're here. We're ready for our Airbnb tour. So we have another studio apartment. So we're a pretty small area right here. This is the door we walked into. We have a in small induction stove and then kind of a small sink for um, cooking a couple things here and there. Now, as you come in through here, um, we have our TV, and then this is kind of our sitting area. So uh, we do have a natural light window coming through, but then we just have a just a nice simple functioning area for this. Our fridge is back here, and then over here, this is where they have stored um, some of our kitchen appliances. Very basic, but just what we need since we're going to be out all day um, traveling. Now, as you work your way through here, it's kind of a U shape. Um, you can see we have kind of this cool theme on the left and right side of our bed, and we have a nice queen size bed, which um, is going to be awesome uh, to jump into because we're definitely on the tired side of things. And then as you kind of do this full U shape coming in here is uh, the bathroom. So the bathroom is, again, part of the studio apartment, uh, pretty small. We have our sink over here, and then kind of as you work your way in, you do have our toilet and our shower. And that's it. Today is Saturday. It is our second full day in Rome and we went to the Vatican today. Um, we did get tickets to go to the museum and the Sixteen Chapel. Um, it was extremely uh, busy, but again, we decided to go on a Saturday, so a little bit on our fault there. Um, we went downstairs to the garage to see all of the older... Candies and cars for the Popes. For the Popes. And it was 
It was really cool. Unfortunately, there was so much to see. Fortunately and fortunately, there was so much to see, but um, now we, it's about three o'clock and we'll go from there. <laughs> day of vacation and our last day in Rome so crazy and so today um, this morning we got up about 11 o'clock and we made our way to um, a church that had a special crypt inside which there were like five different rooms all filled with old um, human bones from around the Roman area after that after that we went to the Spanish steps um, we walked down them and then made our way to lunch where we had uh, paninis and then after that, we walked probably about five minutes or so to the uh, Chevy Fountain, and we're headed to the Pantheon and to get a mid uh, a midday snack. So let's get going. 